Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. I have a tool here that I just got that I'm going to be using in upcoming reviews of smartwatches in particular to determine whether or not when they're put under high intensity use like game playing or videos that you could actually check them and see how hot they're getting. Now, I don't know if you can see on the screen right now, but I have two temperature readings. The upper left is 83 degrees. That's the edge of the band that I'm wearing. On the lower right, 107, 106, 107. It's flushing around over there. That's the highest temperature on the screen. You see, this device I'm holding has an infrared camera and a visible camera in it. And the reason I'm showing it to you early now is because this also does a great job taking human temperatures. And in a group of people, it would immediately show you who has the highest temperature and what the coolest temperature is in the background. Not only that, well, let me show you in a minute. I'm sure you want to know what it is. This thing is called a handheld portable 2.4 inch TFT screen, 0.3, that's a really small megapixel thermal infrared imager, household thermal imager camera for the household. Yes, <laughs> it's really inexpensive comparatively. These things usually are in the thousands of dollars when they're set up right. And as you can tell, you can actually do thermal imaging. Um, check the show notes in the video down below for a link to pick this thing up. I'm going to walk through it with you, and then I'm going to show you the specs because I think they'll make a little more sense then. I got a, a, a watch here. This is a Genesis. I've got it in an Ergon band. We've reviewed both of these, and I'm playing this thing out to do a battery test as well as a volume test. That's using a canned video, going to run it for an hour. And during that time, I'm also going to be checking its temperature. And that's where this device comes in really, really handy. This is a small little screen. It has uh, access to two different cameras and can blend pictures together. And this is a little light that you can turn on if it's a dark area. So let me show you first off, for example, my little shot glass with an ice cube in it. Soon as it comes on the picture, look at that, 39.8 degrees, and the edge of it off the screen a little bit is 82 degrees. So the table's 82 degrees, the ice cube's 39. No matter where I move it, it's going to hone in on those different temperatures, high and low. Average temperature right here, minimum, maximum, and a whole bunch of other stuff, including time. And the fact that I have a micro SD card in here that allows me to take pictures, which is what I want to show you right now to explain how these other functions work. I got a bunch of pictures in here. Let's go and take a look at them. Here's a Starbucks cup. It's taken with a normal basic picture without any of the... Um, infrared uh, readings on there, although the line here shows you the chart from cold to hot in color of what it would actually portray as an overlay. You got the temperature of the cup and the side, and this is a picture, folks. It's already been shot. Now I go down. Here's a close-up of it, okay? And here I'm blending. So you're seeing the colder part of the drink is down at the bottom, and it tears up to the upper area. Okay, now I'm going to jump for a second so you see how the color combinations work. Here's my foot. Now, not only do I have the ability to uh, show the portrayal of the colors, I have the ability to change the actual orientation of the colors. The hottest part of my foot is white in this one. So this particular setup lets me identify in a picture without even monitoring the temperatures, the overall gradient from coolest, which is the mat I was standing on, all the way to the hottest part of my foot. But I can change those colors. I can make red be the hottest, and it would look like this with green giving you a defined edge. It might be easier to see a person's temperature, the temperature of their body through their clothes, the contour of what's happening on a watch that's overheated, 
your Starbucks cup, whatever you're taking uh, an image of and capturing a picture. But I can change the chart again. Now here it's really predominantly white at the, at the uh, hottest and blue at the coldest. It gives you a big definition with high see-through ability. So you see the actual picture showing through and the uh, overlay of the heat map isn't as strong. Here we go flip the other way. A different uh, overall contour. And then you have the black and white version where the hotter it is, the whiter it is, and dark is, is uh, representative of black. So back to the Starbucks cup, you can go even further. Not only can you blend the picture and the heat map, but you can delete the picture completely and just look at the heat map. Yeah. So if I were to do that on here, well, let's move the ice cube and come back here to the, um, the watch. Because this is where I would be doing it on this channel, right? This is a straight picture. So I'm going to add an overlay. There's a tiny bit of color added here from the heat map that you see the chart on the left, on the right. Here we go. Now I've got a little bit more showing through. Now I've noticed I'm a little off center of the two cameras. The thermal camera is uh, showing a little bit lower. So the red circle you're seeing at the bottom should be right on top of the picture. I got to do some calibration on the device, but uh, it get, it's actually helpful because it shows you kind of the two different uh, areas without one masking the other. Here we go. This is the one I often run it in. It shows you um, a little bit of both. And then here is the pure heat map itself. So if I were having trouble with this watch being excessively hot in a particular area, I could go straight into this heat map. And see, it's showing that the front of the watch is 104 degrees, while the ambient uh, desk on the side is only 78 degrees. And if I were to touch it, yeah, it's definitely warm. And that's what it's showing in here. And when you're in this mode, one click and you're back to the full picture. So a couple of practical examples, and then we'll get to the specs that delineate all of this stuff. Here's hot water running in a sink. Simple as that, 131 degrees right there, 72 in the porcelain on the side. Here it is in a different scale. Here it is in yet a different scale. You see the differences showing up there? And then another one, there's five different ways it can be portrayed on here including the black and white. That's just like what we looked at at my foot. Now, this is kind of obvious, water dropping into a sink, but if you had some blockages in the plumbing, well, here we are under this exact same sink, and there's the plumbing going through. Here we have just a little bit of color starting to show. I'm using this particular scale. Now you're starting to see the heat map, almost like you're looking through the pipe. Here we go, a little bit more intensity. And then, of course, the final one where you could see if you have any heat leakage. Oh, you could use this for air conditioning because it works fine with cold as well as hot. But I'm primarily showing it to you right now so you can have your Starbucks now. <laughs> so you can actually get one of these things while they're still gettable because I got a feeling that instead of running around with a little thermometer thing and touching everybody's forehead that you see, uh, you could just end up walking around with this and you're immediately going to see temperature readouts uh, live compared to every other point in that picture and you'll know who might have a temperature. Oh, and, and let me exit out of here and show you that not only that, here's my hand, right? And let me get into a different mode here. You're just looking at my hand, but you see the temperature of it. I'm going to intensify it a little bit, get into the heat map. There's the heat map laying over my fingers. And now watch, I'm going to move my fingers. There's the residual heat map. So if you're concerned about, did somebody touch something recently? Well, you can have for a little while until it dissipates. You can actually read the heat map when in the actual picture itself, you wouldn't even see that. Okay, now we can get on to the specs of this thing. Uh, there's no real model number or anything on it, so you do need to use the link I'm giving you in the show notes of this video to head over to Banggood and pick it up. Um, 
because there are, there, there are a variety of them on the market. I did a lot of research on this. This is the only unit I found that can show you those live temperatures right on the screen. Yeah, you can switch them to Celsius as well, Fahrenheit or Celsius. So you have all these different things, five different kinds of palettes for the colors. You have the hybrid imaging, you have micro SD card capability, and you have a USB-C or a micro USB port that you can connect directly to the computer, or you can pop the card out and, and, and plug it in your computer. You can transfer the images any way you want to, anywhere you want to. Uh, more of the specs, um, four AA batteries, runs the whole thing. Here are the accuracies. Again, this is consumer related. It's not gonna be highly technical. So what you're going to do is get basic guidance, information that may help you out in a pinch with this kind of thing. And believe me, if I were going in the airport or someplace, I think I'd like to have this around if I'm lingering, waiting for a flight to just have a sense if any of the folks that are near me might be a little higher in temperature than I'd like to be close to. Okay, uh, it's a handheld portable TFT screen thermal infrared imager. That's the magic word you want to look for. I've got the little built-in light here. I press that button, turns on a white light. So at night, if you're trying to do some imaging um, and you can't see it invisible, you can tap that on. But in the dark, it will definitely show the uh, heat signature. So you can see uh, animals walking in the bush if you want to. And again, look how accurate it is. 37.5 degrees right in the ice, 79 degrees on the floor. And if I go into the thermal imaging of that, you'll see how now it's automatically adjusted where hot is normal on the outside. Whoa, until I come in the picture. You see how it, it adjusts the scale. So the cool part is the ice cube in the bottom. And again, if you go into just pure thermal imaging alone, you get a lot of information. Alrighty, you have been watching Smartwatch Ticks. We are a YouTube channel dedicated to smartwatch technology. And although this is not smartwatch per se, it is gonna be an instrument, a tool that we're gonna be able to use to check on smartwatches, especially under high levels of stress and uh, activity. You know, a lot of these are coming now with a special setting for gaming, so it's important to know, are you, are you gonna melt your wrist with this thing on? Well, you won't with this kind of a band, but uh, yeah, you wanna be careful. The heart rate diodes in the back, all of that kind of stuff. What kind of information, what kind of heat is going on there? And can you detect that with this instrument to help you out? Look at that, 104 degrees on the back of this watch running a YouTube video. Cool. All right, we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching.